Game week. And what game week is it? 10. Game week 10. Game week 10. Game week 10 in the Astrodome. And it's not been that easy of late. Last three games, won one, drawn one, lost one. Um, which isn't horrific. The game that we won was against our main rivals for the title at the minute in FC Snoozemia. Um, we then lost to kick it with their leg FC. Kick it with your leg FC, sorry. The week before that. And then last week, we um, managed to come from two goals down against BFSB, who are just kind of... A team that we've got a little bit of a rivalry of. They are down the bottom of the table, but they always turn up against us, and we know we're always in for a tough game. So it's been three tough games. Uh, not four points, is it? It's three points in this league. Two points for a win. So three points from three games isn't horrific, but that kind of form isn't going to be good enough to win us the title. So tonight, then, we come up against the Bohemians. Now, last time we played the Bohemians in match week three, I think, uh, we beat them 6-1, I believe, which is actually our biggest win of the season. Um, but that doesn't mean it's going to be an easy game tonight. Like I said, we smashed BFSB last time we played them, and we could only get a draw against them last week. So you can't take each result as it's going to... Like, you can't assume it's going to be repeated the next time, especially teams on YouTube know this. When you film games and people know you film games, however big you are, whether you're a small YouTube team like us, big YouTube team like Hashtag United, everyone wants to win. They want that proof on camera that they can beat the likes of you on YouTube. So everyone brings their best players along and they bring their A game. So we've got to assume that now this is a second round of fixtures against everyone. They know that we film everything and they're going to turn up not wanting to be beaten on camera. So we know it's going to be a difficult game. If you did watch the previous match against them, you know they've got a player called Nick Tan who scored loads and loads of goals in other leagues all around Essex. Um, so we know he's a top quality player. Um, and we've got No Creasy tonight, who was the guy who kind of marked him out of the game last time we played them. So we're going to have to find a different way of trying to stop him from scoring goals. But if we do stop him from scoring goals, then we've got to assume that we can get a decent result out of it tonight. See, so yeah, as I said, it's, it's not been easy running of lately. Um, and plain and simple, it's just because it's not been good enough. Everyone in the team, their level has dropped performance-wise. Um, and yeah, like I said, a small part of that is the other teams they've started to turn up, they've started playing better. But also, we've definitely not been playing at our maximum potential. Um, and that's down to everyone. It's not individuals in the team, it's everyone as a team. And we know that there's a few things we need to work on. So we're going to see the boys and see if they can own up to a few of these flaws in their game. So we'll start with the right back then. Uh, what would you say you need to improve on tonight then, Steve? Be more of an option when we drop back, when we drop back. Okay. That would be nice. So, ha have you been an option before? I felt like I have been, but not as much. Normally, I just quite happy to sit back and be the anchor. But then or the right back. Or the right back. The right back anchor. I should leave that job more to. Okay, so basically more running then. More running. You you need to be a right wing back. Oh, Sammy Temps. He's right, nervous. Yeah. You nervous? No, you're wet. Hmm? Nah, he's always used nervous. To now, used to. We know that he's nervous. Well, I've said, boy, everyone's got to improve tonight. Where have you got to improve, Sammy T? Stay on my feet more. Wait, what will I say for you? You always tell me, mate, that your goals. So far, you've not scored multiple goals in a game. In the county cup, they played. I don't think I've played multiple minutes. You've definitely, you've definitely played multiple minutes. Yeah, you've not scored multiple. So, at the minute, your goal. We need goals. Okay. Well, I'm starting, lads. I'm starting up front. I'll be playing the whole game. He won't be. Until I score two goals and now I will suck myself off. He won't. It's Chris. I'm back. You are back. Where do you need to improve tonight, mate? That's the main thing, though. Or do you not need to improve? <laughs> so have, you, have, you, have you been so good the white things? Um, well, clean sheet, new gloves, so... Oh, hello. I like these. No number, because obviously I didn't like the fact I had number one on them when I have a number 44 shirt. Well, exactly. Yeah, that's nice, mate. I appreciate that. They're nice. And they're... So where you needed to improve was buying new gloves, is it? No, no, no flaws in your game. Uh, well, we'll see tonight. It's a couple of weeks off, so if I can see, uh, well, clean sheets always the aim. Let's put it that way. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens, mate. We'll see what happens. Mr. Hobster, where do you need to improve on camera, mate? I don't get it. Well, today I'm playing, and last week I played. Huh? 
Oh my god. <laughs> you played for Stroke City, didn't you? Uh, I did, didn't I? You did actually, yeah. You, you, oh my god, he did. He I, did uh, I thought I'd go for a yeah. fitness cameo. For, and you were uh, awful in that game. I was horrendous in that game. Yes, and Grant Kirby, then we've got to have a word for him because. When was the last time you scored a goal for us? Uh, last week. Mm. Did you score a goal for us last week? Yeah, well, I. You could, yeah, he did. He passed he did. it to you I, and I you missed the ball. from like the halfway line. Do you remember Somewhat. when you missed the ball? Oh, you, oh yeah. You You've literally just, just gone like that. In. I've mugged myself off there. Yeah. Can, we, can you just score more goals though? Yeah, I'll try. Right, we know where Greeno needs to improve. Greeno needs to learn how to do his bloody washing on time, don't you? Try at least. <laughs> I love me. <laughs> Is it actually Grab wet still? That. It's freezing. Oh my God, how can you be so bad at what? You You have a week to wash that. But yeah, that is then where the boys feel they need to improve in their game for tonight. Only way to see whether they do or not is obviously by playing the game. So a final look at the match day squad. Then we got a Grez, a Temps, a Steve, a Greeno, a Stevens, a Chops, and an Ant. So a very attacking lineup then. And we'll be looking to put a few goals away in this game if we can because we've not been scoring as much as we would have liked lately. And obviously when you don't score as many, it means you can't afford to concede as many in five aside. That's very difficult. As we see early pressure there with Grant Kirkby turning around his man and on his weaker foot, getting the shot away for the corner. And the goalkeeper's wandered off a bit. He's taken one of his gloves on, but the game carries on. It's back to Grant Kirkby and that flick off the top of the bar and the keeper there just showing his player the keeper did actually dislocate one of his fingers in that shot there so it's unfortunate but it was alright he popped it back in and got back on with the game but obviously a different player had to go in goal so we'll be looking to test this goalkeeper early but it's the opposition who come forward and it's a good strike just sneaking in the bottom post there and Grez getting down well to tip it round the ball with Grez's feet now he finds his way out to Grant Kirkby looking to pass it around but we've not quite managed to make it stick but it does come out to me and that ladies and gentlemen is what we call a swinger there on the left foot high and wide danger man now for the Bohemians coming forward he manages to get around Grant he's got the pass in the middle and he's turned down the opposition Sam Templeman there standing up as we did talk about before the game and then managing to get in the tackle and seeing away the danger but that was a good opportunity for the opposition there we see Chris Hobster coming back on for his first well outfield performance of the season he's been injured for a very long time ever since uh, our tour in Cologne really but it's good to see him back out on the pitch as you see the keeper well the keeper who was the keeper coming out on pitch and playing the ball forward but Steve gets in there well and it's a little dink ball over the top but it's intercepted and Greeno on the ball there and he had the option inside and this is the kind of thing we we're talking about before the game we need to be playing these passes as the ball comes into me and I'm looking to get the shot away I do get the shot away and I've hit it very very well but again just off the upside of the bar that's twice now we've hit the bar early on in this game so a bit of pressure from us and playing the ball around nicely and another good shot there by Grant but that is deflected wide as we see the corner coming in again and it's into Grant's feet he manages to hold onto it well looking to get round his man and he does and he fizzes it across the box and Chris Hobbs are just not quite on his toes enough of the back stick to be able to put that one away but it's good pressure and it looks like a goal was coming for us as we see the ball go forward and just when we were getting on the front foot the referee blows for half time into the second half then and looking to carry on that momentum we took into the break as Chris Hobson with a good interception it's three on two playing it out to Sam Templeman looking to get the ball across and maybe just a touch of overplaying at that time and that's what we've been struggling with is just picking that right pass at the right time as we see the ball coming into feet and looking to find the man there. Chris Hobster getting the shot away and this one is just into the outside netting by the near post. But it's all us again at the start of this second half. Oh, Tom Green, he got the ball in there and we had options again and it's just that final pass really letting us down. But we're doing well at the back and Ant Sleet coming forwards then looking to play the pass but it's intercepted and it goes into the man up front. It's two on one situation and he manages to put it like that and we've been putting on all the pressure but Bohemians doing well defensively at the back. One sloppy pass and they've found themselves in and now they've got a goal to hold on to and immediately we see them going to the same tactics we saw BFSB last week just holding the ball at the back knowing that they've got time to waste and they've got the 1-0 lead and it does come into an attack at the end but they can't find the target as we see the ball going back to the goalkeeper and obviously in this position you've got no choice but to press as Grant Kirby comes forward but then you immediately have a man at the back who is available but Grant Kirby doing well to pressure the man and again we see it going back to the goalkeeper just rolling down the clock and as soon as that man comes they're popping it over the top it's difficult to play when the opposition plays like this they get the shot away and it does be deflected out for a corner and again we see for the third time in a matter of the minutes just throwing it back to the keeper biding their time drawing the man out looking to play over the top and they've got a spare man at the back and Grez just getting fingertips for this and this is becoming very very difficult to play it now and it is very very sensible for the opposition it has to be said and it's very very tricky to play against we see them coming forward and it's another block and I just wanted to leave this one because I think the ref does watch these videos and 
I mean, I think he's a good ref, but how he's given us a throw in for that one, I'm not quite sure. As we see the ball being played into and looks for the little flick, it comes just to Chobbs, and they've got men behind the ball, and now they can break. It's a three on one situation, and again, the opposition player turned down the pass. If he had played a couple of passes, they could have had a couple more goals in this one, that's safe to say, as we look for the pass out to Grant Kirkby then, and this time he sensibly turns down the shot, looks for the one two with Greeno, and instead Greeno goes for goal, and it has gone wide of the play but we need to be putting these chances away as Greeno they're winning two big tackles and now it's a two on one situation he looks to square it and he's under hit the pass that was a real opportunity those are the kind of opportunities you've got to be putting away and it's almost cost us there at the back and we see another two on one situation again Greeno looking for the pass it's just behind Chobbs this time he gets the shot away and that is over the bar as we see there just like that just from a goal kick from the resulting goal kick, it's a ball over the top. The long ball in five aside has caught us out. And that is now 2-0 to the Bohemians. It's going to be a long way back. We came back to draw from that position in the last game. But there's not going to be any time in this one. And we fall to our second defeat of the season. But as we look at the results, we've really, really got away with this one this week. Because Delft and Safety managed to hold FC Snoozemia to a 4 all draw. Massive result for us. But another win for Kick It With Your Leg. Really tighten things up the top now. Three teams on 15 points. Us just ahead on goal difference. The most hypocritical critical performance I've ever seen. We know what we're meant to be doing and then when the ball comes to our feet, we're not doing it ourselves. So many times there where one more, we could have scored six, seven goals there with just <laughs> one extra pass or if someone had just listened to a call. It's all it was. And then we're trying to play worldy passes and we're trying to score from 20, 25 yards in goals that are this size. We should do, we talk about all the right stuff before the game and then it comes to kick off and we don't do it. The performance was nowhere near good enough, we know that. We're just not moving enough and I don't know if that's down to fitness or whether that's down to just... I, I, I don't know what it's down to, I don't know why we can't just play our simple balls at the feet. Our tracking was poor tonight, every time we missed a shot we were going... Rather than thinking, oh we need to get back here, we need to get back. Every time we haven't got the ball, you've got to be marking someone. There's only four men on the pitch, you've got a man... <laughs> Game, you can't afford to let someone be free. Just can't afford to do it. Right. But at the end there, we let someone be free, they score a goal. It's End simple, off. boys, isn't it? We've got to win every game now. We want to win this league. No, everyone in this league now, we've got to win every game. Every single league we play in has been the same. Second half of the season. We mess it up. I don't want to let that happen again. It's frustrating. It's so frustrating. We're better than that. <sighs> it's happening again. And. Well, I say we don't know why, we do know why. Obviously, you've seen a little bit, we had a little bit of a chat after the game. And I think we're, we're so aware of this second half of the season syndrome-y type thing that we have where, like I've said it in previous episodes, like we're always top of the table at the halfway point. There's not been one league, one season that we've been in as Mongolian Horses FC where we've not been top of the table after we've played half the games. And then as soon as we get into the second half of the season, it's, it's a mixture of the other teams getting more up for it and like I mentioned before the game wanting to play better against us and wanting to beat us because we're the team that are top of the table and we're the team with the camera um, and a mixture of our performance dropping I, and whether that's because I don't know whether we're, there's a little bit of arrogance because we're doing so well in the first half of the season that we then think it's just going to come easy to a second half of the season I don't know but we've not played in a league where the teams are, are poor enough for us to be able to do that and it, we're not, it's not going to be able to ever happen it's never going to be a walkover for us it's never going to be easy because of the reasons that i've just mentioned and um yeah tonight it was just a it was a bad team performance there was no individual you could pick out that say that was particularly bad um just as a team it was poor it was slow it was it was just very very lackadaisical and um we looked up for it the first five minutes and then after that it kind of dropped a bit and they got themselves more into a game and it's the last three games, I think, now. We've, got, we've gone 1-0 down. And as soon as we've gone 1-0 down, the other team's just completely shut down and look to shut us out and just defend and wasting time and stuff like that, which obviously they have every right to do. We can't complain about that. They have... It's, it's not really what five sides about, but they have every right to do that. And I know there are games where we've done that. We did that against Snoozemia um, because we knew that was a must-win game. So we can't really complain about that. But when teams do that to us, we've not found a way to play against them. We've not found a way to break it down. And that's where in games like this we really, really miss players like like Jakey Stevens, uh, Lockwood tonight. Obviously, he pulled out from the squad late, which is a real shame. Really could have done with him. James Heiser. Um, 
Tom Binks, players like that, players that are just like a bit quick, they've got a step, they've got a little bit of magic about them and they can just score a goal, make a make a meter for themselves and get the shot away. Um, and we're, so we're not scoring enough goals, we're putting a lot of pressure on Grant, bless him, to score goals. Um, and you can tell that because the ball goes to him and we just expect something amazing to happen. And obviously he can't do it every single time. So he's taking a lot more shots on where perhaps he wouldn't have done at the start of the season and it's just not going for him. Obviously, I've only scored one goal this season, which is absolutely pathetic, and that was a handball. Um, Greeno's kind of gone off a little bit um, after his first couple of games. Um, obviously, like I said, no Heiser, no Lockwood, um, no Binks as well. So, um, yeah, the goals are the thing that are coming hard to get at the minute because conceding two games, uh, two goals in a five-side game, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I think if in most games, if we thought we were going to concede two goals before the game, we take that because we'd always back ourselves to score more than two and we've just not been able to do it lately. We've not been able to hit the back of the net. Um, and that is unfortunately because the football that we're playing at the minute is not good enough. Cause it's Mongols night and the feelings right. <laughs>